Hey, Simon from Wolfmix here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can manage projects. A project stores everything you see on Wolfmix, plus all the presets and all your other settings apart from your global settings. To save a project, you tap the settings icon here, you tap projects, and you tap save. Choose a slot. I'm going to save this project in slot 2 and press save and I'm going to call it my project. Once you've saved a project, you can open a project just by tapping open or create a new project simply by tapping new. When you create a new project, all your fixtures are cleared and everything is set to its default state. A useful feature is to load just the fixtures or just the other data from another project. For example, maybe you want to keep your lighting patch, your fixture setup, but you want to discard all your colours and scenes and just reset everything to the default. Or maybe you have a small rig and a big rig and you want to take an existing project, you want to take your saved presets and colours and effects, keep all that the same, but just load a different fixture set. Well, you can do this over on the project screen. So right now I have an empty project. If I go to projects, open, I'm just going to take the fixtures from the Wolfmix demo. And to do this, we use the part. You see, we have all fixtures and presets. So if I select fixtures here and I press open, We now have all the fixtures from the demo project, but in an entirely new project without any presets. We have live edits, we have the names of the live edits because this is stored with the fixtures, but we have no gobos, we only have the default positions, the default colours and all the default values for the effects racks as well. So that's a really useful feature if you're going between different venues or have different rigs. Finally, you can back up your projects using W tools. To do this, you go over to projects and you can tap any project here to load it into the Wolfmix. And to back up projects, just select this backup projects button over here.